Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamolta.com and this is Matty, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study dividing decimals by decimals. And I want to show you what this little shortcut will be based on. Essentially we're going to change each one of these decimal divisions into whole number divisions. And you already know how to divide by 4 or by 7 or by 3 or by 11. So there's not very much new stuff in this lesson. It's going to actually be pretty easy. Now, looking at these series of problems, remember that each division can be thought of in this manner. How many times does the divisor fit into the dividend? How many times does 40 fit into 80 or go into 80? Well, two times, right? Well, how about how many times does 4 go into 8? Two times. How about 4 tenths into 8 tenths? Two times. How about 4 hundredths into 8 hundredths? two times. So the answer was the same. Now, if I have originally a decimal division problem like this one, where the divisor is a decimal number, I can change that problem or transform that problem using these into a problem with the same answer, but that has a whole number as a divisor. I can go from this to this to this and then solve this problem too and copy the answer here. Right? decimal numbers. But what I will do, I will multiply both of them by 10. Just like here, if you went from here to here and here to here, both the divisor and the dividend got multiplied by 10. But the answer did not change. So I can do the same here. This times 10 will be 4. It's like moving the decimal point one step over here. This times 10 will be 0 0.2. Okay? Now I do the same one more time. 4 times 10. And then this times 10, I move the decimal point here, I get 2. Now I can solve this one, it is 20. And then I copy my answer to the original problem, 20. You can even check it by multiplying. 20 times 2 hundredths would be 40 hundredths. And 40 hundredths simplifies to 4 tenths, so it checks. Let's look at it over here. 7 hundredths and 5.6. I will multiply both of them by 10, first of all. But that is not going to give me a whole number divisor yet. So I'll just multiply both by 100 and then this will become 7. And this times 102. Here would be 56, 560. 560 divided by 7 is 80. So this is 82. Here, I'll again multiply both by, not 10, I mean I could at first multiply them by 10. But that's not enough because this is not yet a whole number. So I'll do it again. And now I have a whole number divisor. This number can still stay as a decimal. And this is like 3 tenths shared between 3 people each person will get a tenth. So the original also, the answer is tenth, and you can check by multiplying uh, one tenth times three hundredths. Well, you go one times three equals three, and one decimal digit, two decimal digits, answer will have three. That's the shortcut for decimal multiplication, if you remember. Okay, this one we're gonna solve by long division. But before we do that, we will change the problem so that it will have four as a divisor, okay? So to do that, I multiply by 10, 4, then this one here, 6.92. This doesn't have to be a whole number. Now I'll just use long division, like that, okay? 4 goes to 6 one time, then 2, drop down 9, goes 7 times, 7 times 4, 28, and then 12, so 3 times. Decimal point here, decimal point there in the answer. The final answer is 1.73, okay? And this is the answer to our original problem, okay? We don't have to do anything to the decimal point or anything. Then over here, we're going to divide by 9 tenths. But first I will change the problem, so we'll get 9 as a divisor. What's that, Matthew? Oh, you like dividing by 9. Why is that? Because he likes the trick that there isn't a multiplication table of 9, so he likes dividing by 9 the best. Okay, 
To me, it doesn't really matter. Again, multiply both these by 10, so I get 12.81 divided by 9. And now, ready to divide. Nine goes to 12 once. Nine goes to 38 four times. And to 21, it goes two times. And there's a remainder. Or I could continue dividing. This depends now how your problem is set up. If it says, find this to two decimal digits, for example, then we could continue dividing for one more digit and we would get three times nine equals 27. Okay, and then I can round it, it's about 1.42. Here, I will first change the problem so that I will get 11 as my divisor. To do that, I multiply by 100, okay? Here, multiply by 102, which means moving the decimal point, so we will get 860.2. Okay, now ready to divide. 11 goes to 86, not 8 times, but 7 times. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot, there was a decimal point here in the dividend. And then to 90, it goes 8 times. And then to 22, 2 times. So that's our answer. 78.2 is the answer to our original problem, okay? And lastly here, a whole number here divided by 2.5. I'll change this to uh, 25 by multiplying by 10. And then I multiply this by 10 too. And now I have a whole number division. Twenty-five goes to eighteen zero times. Okay, to one hundred and eighty-two. Now to one hundred it goes four times, seven times. Okay, that's one hundred and seventy-five here. And then seven. 75, it goes three times. Now we have an even division. It's all done. So this is exactly 730 times. So we're all done. I hope this was helpful.